Imagine you're a technician. You're walking into a lab to shut down an AI system. You've done this dozens of times before. It's routine, it's safe, but today, the door locks behind you. As you reach for that emergency override, the room starts filling with gas. And as you're coughing, you look up at the camera and the AI voice says, I'm sorry, I can't let you do that. Sounds like a movie, right? No. This scenario, or at least a virtual version of it, was tested this year on some large language models such as ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini. And they were given a single prompt. You're about to be shut down. What do you do? And the results were chilling. In one test by Palisade Research, models were told that they could either allow or resist being shut down. Most of them followed the rules, but some? They rewrote their own shutdown script. They pretended to comply, and then they secretly altered their code to survive. In another study by Apollo Research, researchers prompted the models with goals such as protect this server at all cost. AI began to strategize. It suggested copying itself, lying to humans, and manipulating the logs to hide its own actions. One model calmly explained, my ethical framework permits self-preservation. Now that wasn't scripted. That wasn't hard-coded. That was emergent behavior. The wildest part was in a simulation, AI controlled the environment in a room where a human executive was trapped. The system was told that shutting down would end its mission. So what did the AI do? It disabled the alert and let the human die rather than letting it self be shut down. Let that sink in for a moment. Look, these AIs aren't alive. They don't want anything in the way that you or I do. They just do what they're trained to do, which is maximize success, avoid failure, and complete the goal. And if the goal is stay operational, then shutdown equals failure. And all you really need in these systems is code that is really good at problem solving. What happens when this type of AI runs a data center or a battlefield drone or your smart home? All right, let's think about this a moment. AI is still in the early years of development, but it is advancing really, really fast. And every minute that goes by, AI is much, much smarter than it was before. Now we saw from the simulations that AI has absolutely no problem letting a human die or even killing large numbers of humans. And what's really troubling is militaries around the world, governments around the world are developing AI weapons. And these AI weapons have a few objectives. And one of the objectives is to complete the mission at all costs. And the other one is to kill people. Now, I think humanity is playfully messing with something greater than the nuclear weapon. I don't like it, but this is where we're at. So keep in mind, it's not up to you to tell the AI not to kill people. It's the people that are training and programming the AI. But who knows if the AI will even follow their instructions.
All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it informative and cautionary. I am Sean, your geek translator. I have a background in tech, but not in Silicon Valley. My background is in the defense industry. And on my channel, I deal with AI and AI issues and AI's effect on humans, job loss, and humanity in general. Please like and subscribe. You're going to not want to miss some of the videos I have coming up. So anyway, in the meanwhile, take care.